Hi, this is Brett. I want to give you a reasonably comprehensive overview of how AI can assist the strategy development and execution cycle. It goes a bit like this. So for those of you who have been watching previous videos, I introduced this cycle, the strategy cycle, and talked about how each step can be enabled through AI. What we've built out is basically now a 10-step model of how this gets done, 10 modules to accomplish this. I'll go through each one in more detail, but the quick overview is it's about strategy surfacing and validating. Secondly, linking it to all your planning systems, communicate it widely, um, understand how it connects to special interests like regulators and so forth. From there, how it gets uh, down to the departmental level, uh, check that department's ability to be able to execute. From there, create the OKRs at the departmental level, monitor both known and unknown events. From there, obviously take action and then make sure that the meetings are successful. So those are the 10 modules, and I'm going to now drill through each one in more detail. So surfacing and validating strategy. The technique here is all about surfacing the strategy from existing documents. So we go to organizations and they've done an all hands meeting. They've got strategy documents. They've got business plans and so on. And in fact, if you take a look at those on average, most organizations have about 240 sub objectives because they fleshed it out and tried to put it into different contexts. So this kind of reverse engineers that across those 240 at services, what are their five or 10 key ones? What are their priorities? A second distinct step is to be able to validate proposed strategies against a persona. So AI, we can say, you know, take a look at this strategy as if you're an investor or uh, from the legal department or a customer. And so that allows you to get a solid validation of your strategy even before you take it to the leadership team. A third is what we call inside out or outside in scenario testing. So outside in is what are five scenarios that the world is expecting and based on that, how does your strategy stand up? And then inside out is guess what? Uh, given your strategy, what five scenarios would need to exist in order for that to be a great strategy. And then the last one is basically based on Roger Martin's work, Play to Win, which is we can use AI to answer the question, what would need to be true in order for this strategy to be hugely successful? So all that is about giving you a very solid footing to your existing strategy, way more than what your leadership team can currently do. Around linking to planning is making sure the strategy is harmonious and links to the financial planning system and the operational planning. Right now, those are often three different systems. I've got my strategic planning, my financial plan, my operations plans. They don't work in conjunction. AI can make sure that they do. Communicate is about sharing the strategy with your wider stakeholder environment. Step one of that is using AI to harvest contextual data uh, historic information on your performance, you know, forecast, global expectations, and so on. So it can it can provide better richness in explaining each element of your strategy. Then, secondly, it can add fidelity to that story and add different voice styles. Thirdly, it allows you to be able to create customized presentations based on that content for investors and a different one for the board of directors and a different one for your all hands meeting, different one for regional offices, et cetera. And so the benefit there is it allows you to be able to create those multiple presentations and contacts without any additional work on your part.